Hi, I'm Elise Cavetto and welcome to All In Talk. Today I will be talking to Mr. Hong Enko, Chief Scientist of Huawei's Public Sector. He will share the latest government and public service solutions. Let's welcome Mr. Ko. Thank you, Ilaria, for the introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor to be in Barcelona to deliver this keynote address on leading infrastructure to accelerate public services intelligence. Come on, Hong Yan! <laughs> Come on! Hong Yan, are you real? Are you real? I think I'm as real as possible. He just finished the summit and he got us all. You're a virtual human. You definitely got me. So now, based on this summit, I've got some real questions for you that you inspired. The first one, can you briefly describe for us the customers, pain points, the challenges, the requirements, and product application scenarios? In today's context, I think no country uh, can survive without the digital transformation. It's no more an option. And every country has put up their digital agenda, even the use of uh, AI. And in terms of digital transformation of a country, usually we look at three different areas. One is the digital government, the other one is digital economy, and the third is digital society. It's really to get the country ready for the future economy. Thank you for that, Hong Eng. And my next question is that what are the customer requirements the scenarios for education. Now everybody is moving towards what we call hybrid learning. Hybrid learning means you must have the ability to study from anywhere, not just the classroom, maybe a remote classroom or maybe remote uh, uh, online for example. So this is why it's important we design an intelligent hybrid learning solution. It's not just our idea hub uh, smart screen but it's also the connectivity, the Wi-Fi, the video conference system and so on. Can you briefly introduce the highlights of healthcare? Because why only Huawei can do it with its unique technology? Huawei has very strong Wi-Fi capabilities with the latest Wi-Fi 7 to receive all this technology. It's called the distributed architecture Wi-Fi. So basically it's one Wi-Fi access point with 64 antennas. Now the last thing about healthcare, very important, is storage. We help cut costs by doing very good compression. Huawei data deduplication in our storage is a ratio of 30 to 1. So this is important. And the other thing about Huawei storage is that one of our storage, it supports multiple storage protocol. Because imagine your clinical information system is structured data, but your medical imaging is unstructured data. Wow, that was really powerful, Hong Eng. Can you briefly introduce to us the development and the background of emergency management industry. And one of the things that is important is the, the emergency call taking. Emergency call taking such as Europe is 112. And the future of emergency call center is no more just by voice call. It can be through mobile apps, through be sensor. Huawei solution actually support the uh, European eCall 112 standard. Under eCall 112, all the vehicles are installed with sensors telemetry. So if the vehicle gets into accident, you will automatically call the call center. The other solution is important, of course, is the mission critical communication system. Because the command center needs to communicate with the fireman, the ambulance crew, the police officer. Huawei solution is based on 4G technology. In fact, we are moving towards 5G, what we call the public safety LTE. Wow, now those were some golden nuggets. Stay tuned for All In Talk for more hot topics. Thank you for your time and let's keep watching the show. Shall we have a look, Hong Thank you. Let's, let's go. go.